Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a bunny and a duck to celebrate spring. So let's get started. To draw this cute spring art, let's first start by drawing our bunny. So I'm going to come right here and draw a really big curve. So this is going to be the top of our bunny. Nice big curve all the way around. So this is definitely a very simplified cartoonish bunny here that was inspired by a uh, Chick Peel gift that I saw. This was originally supposed to be a seal, but I changed it into a bunny. <laughs> okay, so let's bring this down. Now that we have this basic curve in, I'm going to bring this down a little bit more and over here as well. So let's say about right here. I'll bring it to that point. I want a pretty level. So there, nice big curve. From there at this point in here, I'm going to draw a cheek that pops out. So come out a little bit and bring it right back. So just popping out a little curve and bring this in. So now we're going to bring, start to draw the bottom of the body, right? So we know where everything is. And then we're going to bring this down now that we have the cheek in and bring it about right there. And then let's come back in here and draw the face so we know what's going on for our bunny. So let's come to say this little point right here. We're going to come right next to it and draw a circle. So I'm kind of going backwards so it's easier for me to figure out where things are. So just remember this is at a slight angle. So I'll go ahead and draw another circle about right here. As long as we get these eyes in, then we're set. Okay, so just remember it's at an angle at this point right here. Now I'll come in here with a little highlight. So circle and then shade everything else in. And same thing over here. Okay, so we have that in, and then now it looks really weird, right? <laughs> it's like a blob. Let's come in between the eyes, and we're going to draw this little bunny nose. Also at an angle. And connect. And then underneath this nose, right in the center, we're going to come out with two curves on both sides. There, coming together. And then above the eye, we're just going to draw a soft curve above each eye. Oh, <laughs> There. Okay, so then from there, I'm going to come right underneath this eye, in this area right here, and I'll draw a curve. So this is going to be the front leg that I'm going to draw, and I'm ending it right here, because I know this is going to come in. So I'm just going to finish this curve out. And then we can go ahead and bring this all the way back. Now before we do that, let's come back up. So right above this eye, about in this area, nice and high, I'm going to go ahead and draw a big floppy ear. So let's come right here. And I'll bring this floppy ear right here, nice and low. A little bit pointy towards the bottom and then right back up. And we're just going to bring this all the way up and back there. And then the other side. So the other side is also at an angle, just like the eyes. So about right here. Go ahead and pop out the other ear and bring it all the way down. And I forgot. So on this side, I need to draw another front leg. So about right here. Let's pop out a little curve and then tuck it right in there. And then now we can go ahead and finish our ear. I'm just going to tuck it in here and give it some curve right here at the top. Okay, so then from there, um, the reason I ended here is because I need to draw this little hump right here for the back leg. 
And so we just remember we're still kind of at a slight curve right here. So then about right here, I'll go ahead and just draw a little indication of a back foot. And connect. And another level connect. There. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too complicated. So just remember, it's just uh, everything is at a curve, but with two uh, breaks in it for our bunny. And then in the back right here, let's add a big fluffy tail. Big curve. Okay, so that is pretty much it for our bunny, except of course I'm gonna add a heart right here before I forget. Let me put one right here. There. <laughs> and then now to draw our little duckling. And the original is a chick because it's a chick peel gift, but I'm changing mine into a duck, right? So I'm gonna come right here in this area. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna start about right here, right over our bunny. I'm gonna come about right here. And I'm just gonna start, remember I have this little body I need to draw, so don't go up too high. So about right here, I'll go ahead and draw a big curve. It kind of slopes downwards. So we're at a slight angle. So I just want a big curve like that. And then right here, we're gonna go ahead and draw the back of our duck and just pop it in there. So that's why I said don't go up too high. <laughs> so then from there, I'm gonna come in this area and this duck is at a slant. So right in the center area, I'm gonna go ahead and draw our duck beak. So it's kind of like basically an oval. Or it could be a chick, right? It really, you really can't tell. <laughs> and then come to the side and draw a circle and another circle right here and I'll give it a little highlight as well I know it's so small hopefully you can see there it's getting muddied up and then curve right on top and then uh, you know what let's give her duck hair some feathers on the top and then let's uh, draw the hand so this hand is gonna be kind of waving out I'm gonna pop it out about right here I'll stop because I'm matching this giving a little break and right here pop in the rest of the body and then let's see here the other hand so the other hand will be about right here just like the other side and I'm going to curve it because I want this duck to be holding a flower the original the chick is holding the flower on this side I'm changing it up <laughs> okay so right here I'm going to draw the foot. So just three curves. One, two, and three. And then one more right here. Just a little indication of it. And in there. So hopefully that looks like a duck. If not, we'll call it a chick. Okay, so then now to draw our flower. My favorite part. So I'm going to come right here. I'll say about right here. I'm gonna go ahead and curve the stem right in the hand. Now thicken up the stem. There. And then at the top, I'm gonna draw kind of this little daisy flower. And curve. And then the uh, petals. So I'll just pop in five of them. Three, four, and five there. And then we have to add a leaf, right? So I'm gonna come right here and add a leaf in the center stem. And that is pretty much it for the main drawing. Now let's spruce it up because our bunny and duck is outside, of course. I'm gonna add some grass here and there. And I thought it'd be really cute. Let's add a little ladybug to just a little hump since it is a spring inspired drawing that our bunny is looking at. And I'll add a little head right here. 
need some antennas. <laughs> Let's add our spots so we know it is a ladybug. There. And some more grass, of course. And add some dandelions or clovers, whatever you like. Like I said, I really hope this joy inspires you to celebrate spring. So they're all done. I really hope you love this drawing and that brings a smile to your day. And then I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me to draw it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.